Welcome back to another Cool Loser Tech video. These are the top 10 best apps of the week, number 339, here on Top 10 Wednesday. For the best light wallpaper of the week, as you can see it changing colors, it's called Material Circle. As you can see the animation, smooth 60 frames per second, touch on it, and you can change the colors so it gives it a cool look. There is extra settings in there that you could do, but you're gonna have to try it out for yourself. Next up we have Droop. Now you can see there's little three dots here if I swipe in and I get to my contacts and I can literally just touch on one and I can shoot it on whichever side I want to do. If I need to call this person, just drop down and it's gonna call that person. Same with texting, drop it down. You also get a dialer here. Nice animations by the way, you can change the colors, you can do a lot more tweaks in it, which applications you want to be shown, you can rearrange everything or add even more. You can also tap on these for shortcuts. You're gonna love it, go try it out for yourself. Here next we have Pi Control. Remember the good old root and ROM days that I used to do? Well, I have a little invisible one here where if I bring out, you got shortcuts here. You can change the colors, you can change all the icons and shortcuts that you want to do. Hang on to it longer. It'll go and turn on my Wi-Fi. You can see right there, it should be turning on. There we go, Wi-Fi on. Go into my search. No back or recents that I see in there. You'll have to go through the settings and figure out where you want them to pop up and fix the height. A great little shortcut if you want to keep yourself being able to navigate faster or open stuff without having to exit things. So here next we have slide box. You probably have tons of photos that you don't need and you want to get rid of them a little bit faster. If you don't like something, you say, I don't want that. You'll be dismissing them. You see that? But let's say I'm going through them and I don't want this photo. I just drag it out. It goes to the trash can. Now there's a little icon there. I want to get probably a little fish tank for my office here, but let's just delete that photo. But they're not deleted yet. That's just in the folder. If you want to delete them, press on that or recover them. Maybe you didn't want to delete them. So I'm going to click on save to album. Create in your gallery. Press save. If you have multiple ones here, like say you went on a trip, boyfriend, girlfriend folder or whatever. If you want to save it to this folder again. So we'll go here. We got the YouTube. We got to subscribe to organize your photos. Here next we have curiosity. If you want to learn something every day, it can be totally different categories. It's random. What happens there? Swipe open to the next one. There's only five that give you a day and you have to wait for the next day. You can see it counts down. But it gives you all the information of like cool little riddles, uh, um, ancient times, science stuff, history. If you go to yesterday's, you can see what would you do if you count on a bear. It tells you what to do. And then more stuff that you can read here. Which is nice because if you're bored, you can actually find some cool stuff to tweet about or talk about. And if you want to know more about it, just tap into it and it'll go into more reading, find out more information, play a video. And then previous days, previous day, previous day. So you got a lot of days to go back, so that's the best part. But if you want to wait for tomorrow, so you have to wait four hours and 40 minutes. Here next we have Fiverr. Fiverr has been around for years and is perfect for the people who need graphic designs, voiceovers, there's a lot of things, $5 deals. Yes, you'll find a little bit more than that. You can see design and logo killer because they do more than $5 worth. Let's click on here and go to video and animations. We see whiteboard. You can see how much it'll cost for someone to make you animation like this within 24 hours. It could be a voiceover. It can be stuff for your YouTube channel, for your business. Tons of people who do great work on here. So definitely give this a look at. You can hear their voices. You can see what they do, what type of work they have, how popular they are. A professional voice actor from England new to this website. Go try it out for yourself. Here next we have SwiftKey keyboard. Now a lot of people have been asking me what keyboard am I using? How do I do all the swiping gestures? I have showcased SwiftKey so many times because I get a lot of new people and a lot of the videos are older. So like this video. Every time someone sees me do they're like how do you do that? We're gonna go S-H-A-R-E. We got share. T-H-I-S. This. And video. Are you going to the store? You don't have to lift your finger up at all. You can do this. This is the coolest way to text. Didn't get the coolest right there because I might have not swiped the right. And the last thing, but one of my favorite parts, it's where you type in car, you get a car, cat, uh, type in dog, 
You're gonna get a dog. So you don't have to search for your emojis. It can go with what you were already saying. Here next we have Toolbox. This application is simple. All you have to do is click on one. It's like an app if you want to use your compass here. But these do work. I checked and these are accurate so you can use them. I don't know exactly how you would use this, but there's a protractor. So I'm gonna detect some magnet here and look at that. We got some magnet detection in the headphones. You could also track yourself where you're moving around with. Heart rate monitor, put your finger on here on the camera. I think that's the least accurate one. This is definitely very helpful. Really nice tools here within this one application. You're probably gonna love it. So go try it out for yourself. Here next we have StockX. I personally know a lot of people who are obsessed with buying shoes or selling shoes or getting the best shoes or the next shoes. This application is for you because I, like I said, there's tons of sneaker heads out there. I don't know what you call you. Take advantage of this. You set yourself a category of prices or whatever. Go through A to Z, search for a certain brand, click on 243 sells. You can see how much they sell the Nike Air Pro, when the prices go up and down, when is the best time to sell. There's bidding and there's how much you can sell. And last but not least, we have Reddit. Forever and ever ago, Reddit has been an online browser type of thing. And now it's available for your phone as an app. It's another social media for you to follow or post your own stuff that you want to tell stories about. You see videos, you see pictures, you'll see a lot of links, you'll see forums on here. I'm not really on this very much, but I've been on the browser a couple of times. You can join a community, you can switch user accounts and make sure you put the 18 and older tab. Don't blur. And if you want to post your own things, click on there, post an image, post some text, post a link, click on there. If you don't know about Reddit, go educate yourself more. With so there you guys have it. These are the top 10 best apps this week, number 339. As always, I appreciate if you show you my suggested applications if you want to know more about it go into the play store and read more but that's it for me i gotta go edit this video and as always i will see you guys next time thank you i'm on my nexus 6p if you were wondering and as always i will see you guys later